Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lara and I'm a professional dancer. I was previously in a ballet company for eight years and now I live in New York City where I freelance in all styles of dance. Today we're talking about ballet core. You've seen it everywhere, I've seen it everywhere. Ballet core is this big fashion movement. As dancers, we wear ballet tights, leotards, and skirts to go to the studio and dance. These people are wearing that on the streets. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through my ballet clothes and we're gonna see if we can actually create ballet core outfits that I could feel comfortable wearing on the streets. So what is ballet core? By definition, Ballet core fashion draws from staple ballet attire, including, but not limited to, bodysuits, wrap tops, tulle skirts, and tights. It's escape from the ballet world with focus on casual rehearsal looks, making it easy for all to enjoy. The thing is, a lot of dancers just find ballet core super funny. You grow up dancing, you're usually wearing leotards and tights looking in a mirror all day, and that can be very difficult. So the idea of putting those ballet clothes on by choice and wearing them out on the streets to the grocery store, wherever you're wearing them, is so wild to a lot of dancers, including myself. We're gonna draw from my ballet wardrobe, but we want to make them realistic and like something you would actually wear on the street. So after going through all my ballet stuff, I'm a lot less optimistic that I can actually make a ballet core look that I would personally wear on the street. So we're just going to go for a general ballet core look. Girl ballet core is low-key looking like you're homeless. I wear a lot of dark colors, but I feel like the ballet core trend is very pink, very muted, which isn't my general style, but we're going to try. I was really going to ballet. I feel like this is more my vibe, my style. I like like a little edge, I'm not like a ballet pink girly. I through some of my Yumi's and I feel like some of like the Yumi's or a Lucky Leo would just be like too much modern for like the style that is ballet core. I've gotten rid of most of my like cotton Leos from when I was a child, obviously. I found this one, I think it's a really nice color and I feel like close enough to like a pinky color that it really like says ballet core. Next we have our tights. I've definitely seen these ballet core girlies on YouTube shorts wearing pink tights, but I've also seen a lot in black and I feel like black's a lot more realistic for something I would actually like wear on the street. I think I'm more comfortable with black, so I think we're gonna go with black tights. You certainly can't cosplay as a ballerina without a skirt. So if I was going to ballet class, I'd usually wear like a little bullet point skirt or if I feel like a more flowy moment, I'll do a wrap skirt. This one has skulls, and then this one's like too like bold of a pattern, I feel like, to scream ballet core. I feel like ballet core is a little more simple, a little more muted, so we're not gonna wear any of these skirts. Plus, like, realistically, it's just sheer, so I feel like it would feel really weird to wear on the street. I have this skirt, which I think is kind of perfect, because it's not as sheer, and you can see it's a lot longer than the other skirts. And it has a lot more layers, so the skirt is just a lot more ballet core. But if you paired this with like a sweater or something, I feel like you could wear it IRL. Contrary to ballet core belief, Leg warmers are usually used for actual warmth. A lot of times you see people like little leg warmers on the ankles. I don't have any of those. I just have like these super long ones from Rubia Wear. I'm gonna bunch them up on my ankle and see if they, like we can make them ballet core-esque. Obviously the color's not ideal, but I don't really have a choice. I really thought I would have a lot more ballet core options considering I am a professional dancer, but here we are. The problem with ballet core is like all of the things are what people wore like a million years ago. Leotards and skirts that are just super dated and not modern. And I feel like I just have like modern ballet attire. We're struggling, but we're gonna make it happen. With ballet choir, I feel like you never see someone with just a leotard on. They always have like one of those little shrugs or like a wrap shrug. I got rid of all my wrap shrugs when I was probably 15. They just weren't my thing. I do have this little shirt that's actually really cute. I feel like it's the modern version of a little wrap shrug and it's the perfect color for our ballet core look. So we're gonna layer this on top. I think this is the finished look. The thing is like, it's definitely giving ballet core, but I would absolutely never wear this in real life. I don't have that much like pink and light colors and I feel like I needed that. So this is the best we could do. Will I be wearing this out on the street anytime soon? Absolutely not, but it's a cute little ballet outfit. Like if I was in a rehearsal where you needed a long skirt, I could definitely pull this off. Ballet core just seems to be like blowing up more and more. So I don't think it's going anywhere, but I think us dancers will stick to having our ballet clothes in the studio. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Can't wait to see you soon.